What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to have a look at Jesus Burgess. We just had the, uh, the, the the push here on Twitter with all of his information. We'll go through it. I haven't read it yet. I did my initial reactions to Blackbeard so go ahead and check out the YouTube channel if you want my thoughts and opinions on that. But after reading what Blackbeard does, I was a little disappointed. So I'm hoping that maybe Jesus Burgess is going to carry the worldwide anniversary on his shoulders. Hopefully, we can see some cool stuff here. I, I, I really, I seriously have no expectations for this. So uh, le let's jump into it. Let's have a look. So Jesus Burgess is going to be a strength-driven fighter super type character with final tap okay so it, it has perfect synergy with blackbeard of course uh nothing really too noteworthy 15 turn cooldown is incredibly high uh let's see what he does hopefully he's good so he gives minus one cooldown to strength and then further reduces driven and fighter characters cooldown by one so basically two turns of cooldown Boost strength driven fighter characters by 5.5 hp by 1.4 tapping with a strength tandem or an empty slot Reduces the crew's attack down when below certain chain multiplier duration by 10 turns and reduces the duration of barriers by 10 turns. By one turn, sorry. I, I wish it was 10 turns. Uh, this is really cool. Very unique effect. However, if you're using the synergistic abilities with Jesus, Burgess, and Blackbeard, it doesn't actually make a lot of sense considering Blackbeard allows you to bypass defensive effects. So removing barriers doesn't matter. But by himself if you're using him in other squads yeah that's actually pretty cool i don't like the fact that you have to tap on him with a strength tandem or empty slot in order to actually remove the attack down based on your chain multiplier why not just remove it in his captain ability like come on like what are we talking about here this is this is ridiculous why are you putting that really absurd uh, restriction on this guy I mean, his captain ability already doesn't do a whole lot, so why not just give it? Even if it was just five turn removal, like the exchange legend ace, even that would have been dope. So I am expecting there to be a pretty hefty chain attack down coming up very shortly, so that's going to be really frustrating to get through. We'll see, but captain ability wise, it's it just seems okay. It seems interesting. I think that there will be some kind of use cases for a character such as this, but it hasn't got me that excited, I'll, I'll admit. So let's have a look. Uh, and his special ability here. Completely removes the cruise attack down. Okay, that's already a huge positive. I like that. Reduces all enemies' damage reduction, except threshold effect by 100%. The effect increase decrease only occurs one time. The effect cannot go below 0%. So instead of removing enemies' damage reduction, he straight up says, make it become 0%. Yeah, that's pretty cool, because that does work in tandem with the Blackbeard, which wants the enemy to have defensive effects active, because if the enemy has six turns of Threshold or Rainbow Shield, you get positive effects out of that. So, I guess this makes sense, and this is kind of cool in a way, because no matter how many turns of Rainbow Shield the opponent has, you're always going to be able to just basically go through it. So, I guess if you're not using an effect that allows you to bypass defensive effects, Jesus Burgess makes sense. I get it. I, I, I understand what he's trying to do. This can definitely still see play. So already removing attack down completely and essentially removing rainbow shield completely. He changes all slots, including block into strength. Works well with the, with the black beard. If the enemy's damage reduction or threshold is six turns or more, strength driven and fighters get three times attack for three turns. Okay. So again, synergizing with black beard cannot be removed by the crew or the enemies. That's huge. And then also boost the chain multiplier by 1.6 for three turns. But then it does say boost strength driven fighter by 2.75 for two turns. Otherwise, I, I actually think that this guy is, he, he's probably going to see more play than Blackbeard. As crazy as that is, this guy's special is incredibly good. 15 turn cooldown is really high. However, I, I, I can see that with the screenshots that they've posted here, this doesn't look to be Limit Break Expanded. So it looks like it's going to be probably 14 turn cooldown. This special is very, very good. This is a very good special. I like it. Removing two of those pesky debuffs completely is hella good. And with his special and you use him as a captain, you can still get around the chain attack down as well. I like it. I think that he's actually good. I think, I think he's very solid. Uh, crewmate ability does make strength slots matching for driven 
if you do have a driven captain reduces attack down by one turn i think that's pretty cool i guess you can see some niche usages for that his special does remove the attack down anyway but this just allows you to get around more attack down without having to use his special which is cool let's have a look at the support any of the crewmates and if you use the special to change slots reduces attack down by two turns this is great this will definitely see play no problems at all this is a very good support uh his final tap oh my god i already see base attack boost come on bandai have you not learned have you not learned base attack boosting effects are terrible oh what's he do at level five changes his own slot including block into matching and boosts his base attack by two dude come on man really have we not learned anything these are the worst final taps in the game and they continuously give it to us over and over again am i going crazy like these these final taps are, are awful they've really done it again <laughs> all right moving on super type effect you need one of his crewmates including our kiji just one of them that's all you need but no additional condition completely removes his own paralysis and slot bind uh, that doesn't seem very good strength driven fighter receive a 1250 base attack boost for three turns and change strength into super strength oh that's that's really that's really bad that's that's really bad that's a bad super type because removing paralysis and slot bind if that was like removing like five turns of it for the whole crew now we would have been talking but only on himself like removing paralysis on yourself is one of the most useless effects ever very rarely is paralysis inflicted on very specific crewmates usually it's for the whole team and slot bind is the same thing like not too often will you see slot bind inflicted for like certain crewmates usually it is for the whole crew um that's just bad i mean and then you get a base attack boost for three turns okay that is garbage but as we said captain ability it has uses the special ability is the highlight of this character the special is very very good and the support effect i think is is very usable too good crewmate ability too so yeah um this is a very underwhelming global anniversary you know a lot of people would have just uh, bought a bunch of those uh, recent gem packs giving you access to you know a bunch of those uh, gem packs based on your pirate level and uh, i think it was like 1600 gems for the if you if you ended up buying all of them and i think a lot of people that bought those are probably just going to conserve them maybe do a couple of multis and conserve them i think judging from what i'm reading here that sounds like a pretty fair assumption honestly because yeah not 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 that exciting i must admit maybe in rumble he's going to be busted let's have a look so he's going to be uh he's strength driven fighter obviously you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind he's an attacker style unit 27 ct i like it one enemy for three times damage uh, and if you're in the first 50 seconds he targets two enemies for 2.75 and if you're in the first 30 seconds of the battle you target three enemies for 2.5 so he does more damage the earlier on it is in the fight so you want him on the front line and you want to have some type of way to reduce his special ct it's pretty tough though because a lot of teams are like their most bulky uh, at the start of the uh, start of a game he, he gets he gets weaker as time progresses so i don't know if that's going to be that good let's have a look strength type teammates attack five speed five for the first 50 seconds gives himself level six attack level six defense it's almost perfect i feel like if it was like for the first 50 seconds give himself level six attack and level six special ct bruh that would have been amazing that would have been really really good but the fact that he doesn't do that you still have to rely on other characters to give him special ct to launch that special within the first 30 seconds which is going to be really tough at a 27 ct you need some pretty good special ct reduction to get that to work honestly uh and he does have a gp burst when the team uses three specials and you can use it four times target one enemy with high special ct for four times damage ignoring defense okay so this is pretty much gonna kill something this is like almost a guaranteed knockout i think this is interesting actually this this actually might see play i don't know only killing one thing but you can choose when to activate it right if you know like oh well, damn like this guy has max special ct use this right away you can you can pick and choose who you kill which i think is the cool thing about it this is interesting i think this has potential i don't know if it's good or not but it has potential for sure and then he gives buster strength uh and he also gives driven fighter buffs but nowhere in his kit rumble or gp is special ct increase so that hurts that would have been amazing if he had it at least in his gp kit so that hurts but there you go that's the that's that's uh jesus burgess so ah, man 
I, I definitely think this is a pretty underwhelming anniversary celebration. So let me know your thoughts and opinions, guys. What do you think about Jesus Burgess and Blackbeard overall? I think that they're, they, I think they missed the mark a little bit. They, they made these guys a little too gimmicky. Obviously, for the content that comes out for this next event period, these guys are going to be very good against it, obviously. But after this event period concludes, I really don't know. And I can't really see these characters seeing much play moving forward. We will have to see though, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm that guys. I'll see you guys within the next video.